In this video, you're gonna see what a $500 per month apartment looks like out here in Medellin. I'm on the north side of Medellin right now, and I'm at a buddy of mine who's also an expat from America. He works online, has a business. We kind of do the same things, but he's gonna talk about what he does. We're also gonna see a tour of his apartment, but you can see what three beds, I believe two or three bathrooms looks like out here in Medellin for just $500. I could tell you no matter where you are inside the States, this exact same apartment would probably run you somewhere between, you know, two to $5,000, depending on what city and where, but you can get all of this for 500 and we're gonna do a tour. We're gonna to talk about a little bit about what he does so he's able to sustain his lifestyle out here, but it's really cool and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like, so let's go. All right guys, so we're here with Jeff in his apartment. Welcome to the channel, Jeff. Tell everyone who you are and what we have going on today. What's going on guys? Welcome to my new apartment. Just moved in here. So I've been living in Medellin for about seven months now. Um, I've been coming out here since 2018. Roughly about two to three trips a year and I just fell in love with it, you know. I am Colombian, my family's Colombian, my dad's Colombian, my mom was born in New York. So, you know, I've been out here when I was younger, but to finally be living out here on my own, it's amazing. I love it out here. So, just to give you guys a pretty much a rundown of what this apartment cost me, you know, how many rooms, how many bathrooms. It's a 3-2 and I pay 506 a month just on the rent itself. Where back when I was living in Miami before I moved out here in downtown Miami, I was paying $32.75 a month on rent. And when I talk about the apartment being tiny as heck, it was tiny. And this is this is spacious. This would cost me in Miami about 4K. 4500 and I'm paying $506 a month on rent. It's cool, it's a start. Eventually I'm gonna own, I'm gonna buy my own stuff, but we're, we now got everything in order, we got our citizenship, we're official, we're, we're making the right moves, and that will come in due time, but nonetheless, this is a nice balcony for my dog. This is, this is beautiful. You can't really see it now because it's raining and there's a lot of fog everywhere, but during the day, it's a spectacular view of the mountains. And at night, everything lights up. All the houses, all the little businesses that are up on that mountain make it look like a Christmas tree. So waking up in the morning, seeing the sun come up, and, the, and just the view is amazing. So yeah, it's, it's awesome out here compared to where I was. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to show you around. This is the guest bathroom. I personally like that it has the natural light up there. Since we are the, we are the last, Floor, thankfully, you know, we get that little extra touch. This is the guest room. Won't open up uh, right now. And this is my office. This is where I work with <laughs> Luciano. 10 months. This is where I work. This is where, you know, I deal with my customers. I have people ship me phones. I write them, their, they write me the invoices. I go ahead and pay them out. This is where I pretty much do what I do to sustain my lifestyle out here. So this is where I chill out. If I get bored, I can just sit on the couch, you know, lose track of time, reading a book, I don't know, just chilling out. This is, it's pretty cool. It's pretty comfortable. I like it, simple. I'm gonna put a TV up, but since we just moved, I haven't gotten to it yet. All there's a big TV right there, and you know, and that's pretty much it. I'll probably collect, connect my other MacBook uh, to the TV just to have it up there, just to, I guess, just watch stuff, I don't know. And then, this is the room. We try to set up as quickly as possible. Set up the TV, set up the stands where surround sound, the PS5. I do game, you know. We're 93, I love, I love video games. Another view, amazing view. It's pretty much it, I mean, it's, a, it's pretty spacious, you know, I, I love it. It's not a small room by any means. And then we go into the closet. I'm doing laundry, so it might be a little messy in here, so excuse me. So this is my closet going into my, uh, my, bed, my bathroom. And my favorite part about it is that I'm able to stack up my shoes here, right? That's where I stack up my shoes. I have more shoes out there than in the laundry room and outside before you come in because I don't like having shoes inside the floor. So they're out there, most of my shoes. And oh, that's pretty spacious. And I can come out here, more natural lighting, I mean, 506 bucks a month in Miami. Downtown is probably about 45, 5K, maybe, maybe more, probably more. Because I lived in a small 
apartment in downtown Miami. I think it was for thirty two seventy five. I couldn't believe it. And then you come out here, and you have space. This is amazing. So this is pretty much what the perks of living out in Medellin can bring into your life. If you make US dollars, if you work for a company that allows you to be abroad, or if you have your own business where you're able to go ahead and make money and live abroad, you're not, you're not, you're not gonna be missing out on anything overseas. You're gonna wanna be out here, save money, pay cheap rent, and that's it. It's, it's amazing to live out here. So this is my spot. All right, so we're in Jeff's office. I wanted to ask him a few questions. One about his quality of life, and then we're gonna check out what he does for a living to actually maintain his lifestyle out here. But how would you say your quality of life versus cost of living has changed compared to when you lived in Miami paying over $3,000 a month in rent compared to living out here just paying around 500 bucks? So what's like the quality of life, cost of living difference that you really see? Well. Obviously, the cost, of living, the cost of living is a lot cheaper out here. That's one of the reasons why I came out here. I'm saving a ton of money. Groceries, a week in the U.S., spending 300 or 400 bucks a week on groceries, you know, considering that my dog's on a raw diet, you know, I also eat meat and chicken or whatever. Whereas here, I'm spending three, 150 for him and myself. I'm already saving hundreds of dollars on a monthly basis just on food being out here. Rent over there compared to here, the numbers that I mentioned earlier, big difference. So for me, it was to not spend so much, to live a cheaper lifestyle, and then obviously for other business reasons I'm out here, but nonetheless, overall it's cheaper, the food quality is better, everything is better, you know, everything all around, we do not say too much, but it's all around just a better place to be. And if you've been in an area like, for example, like me, I'm from Miami, I lived in Miami my entire life, lived in downtown, did it all, and after all, it gets tiring. So when you're in a new environment, everything just feels better. And then when, you, when you're in that mood, when you're in a new environment, all your senses are like going crazy because everything is brand new to you, the smell, the sights, everything, and then you're in a positive attitude because you feel that way, and then you know that everything is cheap and the food quality is better, and I mean, there's downsides to being out here, obviously, but for the most part, it's a change of pace. And, uh, and being that, you're allowed to just change your pace and it'd be so cheap. Because you can say, hey, I live in Miami, I want to take your pace, I'm going to go to San Francisco, I'm going to go to LA, I'm going to go to New York, and then you get screwed from every direction financially because this costs an arm and a leg, this costs another arm and a leg, you know, so... This is the best way to be able to transition to a new pace of lifestyle and it not be, you know, and, you know, an economical burden, you know, like carrying extra baggage, you know, this is a great way if you make great money to save money. Just because you make a lot of money, you have to spend a lot of money. If you make a lot of money and you spend the minimal, I mean, look how much you'll be saving and be able to add in value to your net worth or to you are as a person. So... Yeah, so that was mostly it to, to live a cheaper means. You know, I got rid of my car. I got rid of everything I had out there. Once the lease was up, I was out. And now I'm living calmer. I like being on my own, you know? I like doing my own stuff. I'm not having family come in all the time. I'm not around people that I know all the time just doing my own thing. And that's something that I actually appreciate is to be doing my own thing out here. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> Why I like being out here. I'll share with you. You guys, what I do, so pretty much what I do is I'll hop on the computer every so often throughout the month and I'll run ad campaigns online. I'll target people in the US to sell me their phones. I'll run ads saying, yo, I buy iPhones, new use lock cracked, any condition. And then if people have those devices, whether they're iPhones or Apple Watches, they'll go ahead and sell it to me and have a whole system how I get them to sell them to me. They'll sell it to my, they'll set up overnight shipping or standard shipping, however they choose to my office in Miami, where I have my business partner, he'll inspect them, and then we'll go ahead and cash out the customers, then I move my phones out here to South America, whether it's Brazil, Venezuela, well, really a lot of Venezuela last year, and now Colombia. So that's pretty much what I do, I buy and resell phones, and I teach people how to do that as well, but other than that, that's pretty much how I keep you know myself afloat, but let's, 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 let's just say one important fact, the reason why I moved out here was because I've been traveling to Colombia since 2000, I wanna say 2018. In 2018, I came on a 21 day trip where I went to Medellin, 
Veneta, Manizales, um, Cali, Cucuta, Santa Marta. And the cool thing about that was as I was traveling to all these spots for two, three days at a time, I was able to take out my laptop, connect a hotspot on my phone. I still actually have AT&T on this phone and I have my Colombian, my Colombian phone. This bill is crazy. It has about four to 500 bucks a month because I have the international pass. That's what I need to talk to my customers and my Colombian number. But the whole point was that hotspot to my iPhone, I mean to my MacBook, I could be on a bus, I could be in, in an Uber, I could be in my Airbnb or a hotel in Kukuta, running ads, talking to customers and making money. So I will be telling my, my, my boy at the time, my business partner, bro, someone hit me up, we'll pick it up. And we were making money every single day buying and selling these phones. And it got to the point where what where I told myself, I'm coming to Colombia every, I'm coming to Colombia two, three times a year and I'm staying at least a month each trip. And I'm making money while I'm out here. Doesn't it make sense to just live out here? You can still do your thing, make money with your business, so just move. Stop paying so much rent in the U.S. Stop living that same old routine, because it's boring. Driving up and down 95 every day to deal with customers, it, it's not a hard life, it's a very privileged lifestyle, but it sucks doing the same shit over and over again. So, we decided to move over here. Run my business from Colombia, and that's it. Cool, cool. So if someone wanted to kind of learn how you do, what you do, how you do it, and how they can do it for themselves so they can, you know, earn money online and then live overseas, how can they learn more about you or find out what you do? Yeah, just check me out on YouTube, Money Man Jeff, and then on Instagram, Money Man Jeff underscore three, and just, just check it out. Cool, cool. So there you guys have it. If you guys enjoy the video, be sure to put a like on it. I'll leave Jeff's information down in the description, and we'll see you guys in the next video.